Eyes with the deepest stare at the stare as possible and said to me, you, you stand with the girls, not the boys. Separation by sex. Boys into one locker rooms, girls the other. I stood still. Burned holes into the lifeguard's eyes. At age four, I asserted the power to ignore all forms of addressing me as female. Separation by sex. Diluted in the waters as deep as the pools we raced to. Forced to wade in a suit that was incoherently assigned. An anatomy that wasn't mine, but given a path in which I was socialized with no consultation for the decision I knew early on. I was different. She was on my birth certificate, but we never related. Just as the swimsuits I hated. I used large caps to hide my long strands and rolled up sides to create a bulge in my pants and eggs for the girl's set. But I discovered myself holding myself in front of the toilet. I'm already enrolled, hoping to hold something more than a flat and human region in my head because I know nothing of boy until I went through she, he, slid through boy, girl. Held my breath through her him, minimized to rough, settled on time, boy, the boy in me is all I've known. Even when I was staying still, burning holes into the lifeguard's eyes, the boy in me is all I've known. When I thought I should drown him for the sake of others' comfort or to quiet my classmates' <laughs> giggles. When I thought I should cut him, then his majesticness in the face of every lifeguard encountered in his life, like guards who will adamantly point to mine and say, you, you stand with the girls, not the boys, like guards who will loudly question me on days when it seems I don't pass, or days when it seems I'm not dying to be me, when it seems I'm not transitioning to be me, when scientific terms have enough means to define me, when strangers don't view what I've always seen, when my energy is innocently no ambiguously, when intersectionality is environmentally foreign at the topic, when men of my kind must fit easily into boxes created by those who are rarely speak of us in public, and with pride, when the rare occasion takes place of being mistaken. Sun, a star, shine.